hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fix black screen in your citron emulator citron switch emulator on android or on your pc windows so let's get started you can see i'm facing black screen not responding so let's fix it now close your the emulator exit emulation and uh, go to settings here and go to advanced settings scroll down and go to zap zone here scroll down and go to extended dynamic state click here and choose disabled okay you can see it's disabled now go back to the game so this is solution number one now play the game and here we go if you're still facing the issue then i have another solution solution number two go to settings and go to scroll down go to manage uh, citron data click here scroll down and install your firmware click here and you need compatible firmware files you can see i have firmware files 19.0.0 install this one and install latest version of uh, 4.keys with compatible compatible with the uh, firmware uh, already installed in our uh, the emulator switch emulator citron so install your keys file this is my prod keys compatible with my this firmware now go back to the game and play the game solution number three you need to update your uh, Citron switch emulator or use nightly version of Citron emulator because many games don't work with the uh, stable version of Citron emulator so I need to change version of the emulator search for Citron emulator nightly you need this one Android nightly now uninstall your stable version of Citron nightly version of Citron emulator install get started next skip select the key this is my key file and select the folder your game folder okay continue now go to settings here advanced settings zap zone option go to extended dynamic dynamic stage click here disabled go back and go to your manage game folder uh, go to manage sit on data install firmware and this is my firmware Now go back to the game this is my game and I play the game again you can see it's working and if you are using Citron on your Windows PC then go to emulation configuration go to advanced graphics advanced scroll down and go to extended dynamic state select disabled and click on apply here and ok and install your firmware files here this is my firmware files compatible with my uh, product keys go to file open citron folder and go to keys folder here make sure your firmware files compatible with this uh, product keys you need to update your keys if you are using latest version of firmware files okay so go to tools install firmware and select uh, select select the folder and go to the folder so my folder is on my desktop open 
OK. And after installation, your firmware files. You can see this is my firmware. Here you can see. And you need compatible keys file with the firmware files. So this is my product keys 21.0.0 and firmware version 21.0.0. Now right click and extract all. And open the folder. Copy. Now go to your Citron file. Open Citron folder. Go to keys folder. And paste here. And replace the file in the destination. It's done. Close it. Now restart the emulator and try again. If you're still facing the issue, then use Citron emulator nightly version. This is stable version. For more settings and solutions, you need to delete shaders for your game. Right click on your game and remove all pipeline catches. Remove Vulkan pipeline catches and remove OpenGL pipeline catches and remove storage catches here. Now try again. Start your game. If you're still facing the issue, then change your backend. Use OpenGL instead of Vulkan. Good emulation configuration. Go to graphics tab and change API. Select OpenGL, select GLSM and media only. Now click on apply and OK. Now try again. If you're still facing the issue, then you need to update your game. Some games need an update to play in the emulator. Go to file, install files to an end. And this is update file and open install you can see update version 13.0.4 if you still facing the issue then go to emulation again and configuration and go to cpu and select from here auto and apply go to system and here select multi-core and select 4gb DRAM by default and select speed limit 100% OK 100% and click on apply and go to graphics tab again and scroll down and select resolution 1x by default advanced tab and select from here normal and apply and OK if you're still facing the issue then right click on your computer screen and go to display settings and if you are on windows 10 then go to show more and display settings and go to uh, graphic settings here and go to add desktop app select your citron emulator go to desktop this is my citron emulator open file location add search for selected apps for citron click here and let window decide it click here and high performance and okay close it if you're still facing the issue then go to display settings again scroll down go to graphic settings and go to advanced graphic settings and enable this option after enabling go to startup restart your pc now and after restarting your pc go to search bar on your windows top here device manager go to device manager and here go to display adapter go to your gpu device go to properties drivers you can see type of data and driver version already installed in your windows in the system so you need to change version of your drivers gpu drivers or you can use rollback drivers and make sure you are using updated version uh, drivers for your GPU. If you are using older version drivers for your GPU, then please update drivers for your GPU. You need a clean installation of uh, 
GPU drivers. After updating drivers, you can easily fix the issue black screen in your Citron Switch emulator. I hope this tutorial helps you and please subscribe channel like the video.